Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm reviewing a large cigar from Ashton. This is the Ashton VSG Spellbound. That is seven and a half by fifty-four. There we go. The Ashton VSG stands for, of course, Virgin Sun Grown. It uses a and an Ecuadorian. Virgin Sun Grown Wrapper. The filler and binder are all Dominican. So this should be a good cigar. I've had uh, BSDs before. To be honest, this is uh, the largest one they make. I also would point out how densely packed it is. It's quite heavy. So uh, anxious to get started with it. So why don't we? Draw is great for effortless. Toast the foot. Got a nice little burn going there. That's the clock times in the background. The draw is great. Uh, for a cigar this dense and big, it is effortless. Nice flavors. I want to let it settle for just a second. Uh, initially, there's uh, leather, cinnamon, and um, light uh, citrus. Um, at this very early, early point, the finish is more of a leather. Very odd. But let's just let it sit for a minute. We'll be right back. Well, we're about a quarter inch in, and it's settled down slightly. The initial flavors are leather, uh, slightly sweet grapefruit type, type citrus, and vanilla, with very nice pepper. The finish now has settled down to more of one of a, a sort of a citrusy vanilla. Uh, vanilla and uh, primarily vanilla with citrus hints and a little lingering pepper. Which actually makes more sense. Um, this is going to take a long time to smoke this cigar. And again, as I say before, I will smoke it slowly. I'll be back though as things change. But that is your initial flavor profile. Not a great deal further, as you can see, maybe an inch in, but I wanted to point out at this point the cigar is getting developing a very sweet richness. Uh, it's quite good. Uh, the uh, there is a the uh, vanilla is becoming very rich in that uh, grapefruit citrus and it's giving it a very nice flavor. The richness is carrying over to the to the uh, finish also. Very nice. Thought I, thought I was worth pointing out because we're only one inch in and it is rich. so soon, but now the cigar has developed another flavor and there's some hints of cinnamon. Um, they're not prominent, but they're there. And uh, look at that burn. Look at that burn. That's beautiful. So uh, we've got leather, grapefruit citrus, rich vanilla, and now hints of cinnamon. Uh, at this rate, I'll be coming back every two to three minutes. I mean, we're just a little further down the road. Folks, this is a complex cigar. It's going to be good. Be right back. Okay, real quick. There's no real update here. But I want to tell you the fact. So you 
for yourself. I think that was worth coming back to see. Just about ready to go. You see how it's starting to tilt? Uh, starting to droop. Time to let it drop. The cigar at this point is still very rich. All those flavors we talked about before are there. Very good. Full body. Pepper is very nice. Lingers on both ends. The finish now is... Uh, I describe it as a uh, almost like a port like port like ruby port very rich sweet um, some of those flavors are on the uh, draw also but they're not you know not a lot but it shows up on the finish a lot more so uh, at any rate there you go you still see it, it's still there it probably won't be when I come back but uh, that's where it is now BSG spellbound in the finish that had those port like flavors now and it's only been another half inch quarter inch those port like ruby port like flavors are very prominent on the uh, draw so uh it's only the, the finish even if i speak to you now very sweet a combination of those port like flavors and vanilla uh, very very nice the cigar is changing just every other minute so uh it's going to be a long review, and I expected that, but uh, I did not expect this many changes, but they are nice. Good now. Let's see where we are. Ruby port, cinnamon, a little trailing vanilla. Maybe even some almond at the very trail end, but it's faint. Pepper is very nice. So there we are. I mean, it's okay. vanilla there with that cinnamon. At this point we're about an hour and 45 minutes at least in and that's another good probably 30 minutes so this is going to be just short of or close to a two and a half hour cigar. So uh, I 
I'll be back. I'll be removing the band momentarily. So. are very uh, noticeable now mixed with the cinnamon. The uh, port-like flavors have never gone away entirely. They are stronger at some points, less at some points. They're still there. Uh, very, very nice flavor. The way it all rounds it out. The vanilla is right there encapsulating everything. The pepper has been just amazing on both ends. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a great cigar. Finish is still very much vanilla. Maybe with a few subtle almond notes at this point. I'll be back shortly to wrap it up, but at this point, it's, it's made another subtle change. The uh, leather notes really give it some depth. Some, uh, I don't know. It helps with the full bodiedness. It's been a very good cigar. Coming up on now two hours. So I'll be back to wrap it up here shortly with my scoring. The clock chiming. But this is two hours. I'll be back. Go so down here at the very end. It's been a great cigar. Cinnamon right now. A little bit of vanilla. Port like flavors are there, subtle. Pepper is great on both ends. Vanilla finish. Nice, thick vanilla, rich. Nothing bad to say about the cigar. The uh, Spellbound, the BSG Spellbound by Ashton has got to be one of the most complex cigars I've ever had. Um, easily the best cigar I've had this year. For that reason, I'm giving it a rating of 97. It is simply amazing. I can't say, I can't express enough how good this cigar is. I hope you try them and make your mind up for yourself. But it's a great cigar. The Ashton BSD Spellbound.